How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Matt Brown Vlogs. I know it's been a while since I posted. It's been about two months. Uh, the world is a crazy place right now. Really hope everyone is staying healthy, staying safe, social distancing, and uh, hopefully we'll get back to normal soon. But as we're gonna be back on the normal schedule every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. With the time off, it allowed me to think of different video ideas. So I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming videos over the next couple months and we'll see what happens. Uh, there's not going to be any Funko Pop hunting videos just due to the stores. Um, it's really weird. I went into EB Games actually today and there was only two customers allowed at a time, uh, five including three of the workers there. But nothing else is new. They're not getting any new stock. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this one is going to be about uh, the evolution of my Funko Pop collection. So without further ado, uh, welcome back to Matt Brown Vlogs and let's get started. Let's roll the intro. We're gonna take it all the way back to 2016 when I bought my first two Funko Pops. So um, here we got Leatherface and Pinhead. Uh, I think these were, I got them in like October of 2016. Um, I, I still have these, of course. Here, let me uh, center, not bad, there we go. Um, I still have these. I think Leatherface is going for roughly $40 right now, so not bad, uh, great condition, great pop. So yeah, these are the first two that I got. Uh, let's go on to the next one. So it jumps up here to six figures. I got Jason Voorhees added from Friday the 13th, Mr. March, Ghostface, and Darth Maul. Now, a couple things here to note. The blue box Darth Maul, this is the original blue Star Wars uh, ones that they have made. Uh, downside is it is a little bit damaged. Uh, it's not worth much because of that, um, but on the bright side, we did get it from the dollar store. So not bad, not bad, fine. Uh, the other thing I want to point out too is Ghost Face. I got that for about $10, $15 back then, 2016. And right now it's going for $92. Uh, moving on up to 12 now. So we have doubled the pops in the collection. Um, still, uh, they're only horror ones that I've been collecting. I, I started off just collecting horror. And then as you see later on in the video, I expand to different types of figures. So we got Carrie, Hannibal Lecter, Annabelle, uh, Elvira, my first Elvira, uh, Reagan, uh, Mr. March, yeah, I mentioned that, and Billy from Saw. Uh, the additions here were the four from Metallica. So yeah, these were my first Rocks uh, figures. So uh, I kept my Rocks and my horror figure separate. So I have a tire side in the uh, room there with just for music. Uh, it's not like that now, but when I was first starting off, I kept those separate. But um, I've added Krampus, Carmen San Diego, Pennywise. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, sorry, and Freddy. Oh, and Mike Myers. Uh, next photo here. Um, Looks like I moved the Rocks figures back into it. Uh, you got Beetlejuice, another Pennywise, couple from It, uh, Jason Part 2. Um, you got Mr. Bean at the top, not bad. Oh, and the Hot Topic exclusive um, Leatherface. And also Motorhead. Now I'm just naming them off now, going through them. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to go through them all because it does gradually spike in the amount of ones that I do have, so. Oh, nice one here. We got Shining, uh, Jack Torrance from The Shining, uh, Nosferatu, Twisty, Tiffany, Krampus FYE exclusive and Black Phillip from The Witch and Beetlejuice. 
Um, oh, nice. Look at the addition here. I, we got the Grady Twins from The Shining. Uh, Captain Spaulding 2. Holy. This is a good increase here to the collection. We got Ash from the Evil Dead, Army of Darkness. Uh, a couple more It's. Uh, Nether Ash. Ash. Ash vs. Evil Dead. What else we got here? We got Alien. Yeah, not bad overall. All right, I, I, you guys can see how the uh, collection's like expanding. So, and keep in mind too, this is in my room. So, I, I'm kind of running out of room at this point in my room, no pun intended. Uh, we got Scooby-Doo from uh, Fred, sorry. We got Fred from Scooby-Doo. That's from the original line too. They haven't remade him yet. Hopefully they don't, uh, because that the value on the originals will stay high. Uh, what else do we got going on here? We got, oh, the Munsters. Not bad. Uh, the the 8-bit pixels uh, for Freddy and Jason. Gremlins. Very cool. Okay, so this, this is definitely expanding. It's almost too many. <laughs> so we got... Uh, the Resident Evil figures, nice. Uh, Universal Monster, Dracula. More Scooby-Doo's, nice. Albert Hitchcock, Chucky's. Norman Bates from Psycho. The bloody FYE exclusive Mike Myers. This is where, let me just go back to the next picture here. This is where I'm like, okay. I got too many in my room. I have to move them to a larger space. So that's what I did. I took them all and I threw them on the wall here. Now, uh, this was in 2019. So here, I actually had to move them out from my room because there was too many of them and put them out in the living room here. Now, this is where I'm filming right now. This is the entire back wall and I'm sitting right where that TV is. That's a uh, little monitor and it's not a TV. So we got Iron Giant. Uh, what else do we got in here? A couple chases. More Beetlejuice, the original it. Lost Boys. So yeah. We're gonna move on here. Okay. So a couple of gaps there at the top. I don't know how many we're at now without actually counting this. Maybe close to 100. We're gonna move on here. So as you can tell from this photo, it's pretty much almost to the top. There. There, now, now my top of my head's not cut off. Uh, oh, more rock additions. Uh, we got Queen. We also got a couple Toy Story figures. More Beetlejuice. I think that's it. Oh yeah, Chase Mr. Bean. Very cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got... Oh, it looks like we got some more Universal Monsters, which is nice. And... I used to display them like this, so you'll you'll see as we go throughout this video here that I, I change my setup a lot. Um, I, I show pictures and the pops beside the pictures of the actors and actresses signing the... You'll see I, I move them eventually because I need to make more room on the wall there, but uh, we're going to move on. So, yeah, this is pretty much full. I, I'm stacking the pops now on the ground because I just don't have room for them, but... We're going to make room. There we go. So I moved the picture frames from the wall to the front display there. I think I had two Elvira's at that point. Because maybe one. No. Oh, shoot. I got one, two, three, four, di four. Two of the same Elvira's, but two different ones, too. So four total. Uh, flock Krampus, I see. But yeah, uh, this was actually before I started making videos for YouTube, so I'll let you know when we actually started making the videos when the photo appears here on the screen. So this here, this photo, I actually had two side tables here to the left of me. Uh, I just didn't have room for them on the wall, so I started stacking them on the side here. You know, that from when I got this one in a last April in 2019, uh, I picked up pretty much all of the Toy Story 4 ones that did come out at the time. Oh, 
I got uh, Monster Zinc there, Sully. Moving on. Okay, so this is when I decided to take this bookshelf out. Now, this, this was a bookshelf that I had in my room. So I moved that out. It also allowed me to have more room for whore props, which was nice. Um, so I was able to take the pops there that were on this right side on those foldable tables and put them on the bookshelf there to display on the front, which is nice. So now it's coming together like a full wall there. Okay, so I moved the foldable tables to the other side of it. Now I display the f my nice ones, my grails, if you'd like to call them, holy grails, in the front there. Um, keeping everything on the back wall, still nice. This is the, the time when the Baskin Robin exclusive Steve came out from Stranger Things, uh, as well as the ones from Jaws. Oh, I see down there too, I got the Sour Patch Kids. Cool. So, on to the next here. So, I then took the shelf that was there, and I moved it to this side here. Uh, this is all the pops here that I were selling at the time. So, everything that was there is, are the ones that are selling. Um, I eventually did sell them all. Except a few, but I still do have it here. I have a bunch of this, the entire, I'm not selling any that are on there now. I got a, the entire uh, Simpsons line, uh, the Scooby-Doo Haunted Mansion, the Purge ones, a bunch of other ones too that are in behind there. So yeah, this here, this is when I decided to actually buy for shelves new ones and build them and have them displayed in the front. They're the same ones that I have here now. Um, if you look in the bottom left corner there, you can actually see four boxes. Now, I was waiting. I think I was waiting for like one or two more boxes because I was keeping them for a video. Oh, you know what they were? They were the Scooby-Doo ones. The second line or second wave of the Scooby-Doo ones. And now what, I don't know if GameStop does it this way, but EB Games, they like to ship one box with one pop it's such a waste of space and material like in cardboard and plastic in there it's like my god guys i know they they're trying not to damage the figure but still be more resourceful we're gonna go ahead and move on here so there's my first uh 10 inch pennywise well my first 10 inch figure which is a pennywise more ad icons which is nice and now it's not just the front layer. I actually have not two, but three layers behind, or two layers behind it, technically three, but yeah. It, there's a lot of figures now. It has increased drastically over the past couple years and it's only gonna get a lot larger. And there's the thumbnail for my 400 plus pop video. I think I have like 440 now, something like that. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the evolution of my Funko Pop collection from 2016 to 2020. I'm really happy that I'm back in the groove of making videos now for you. There's going to be three every week, as I mentioned. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!